Good morning to my AM listeners on News Radio 1150 KSAL. I'm Joan Yurkovich. I'm the one you set your alarm to for the Joan Yurkovich Show on Saturdays at 6 a.m. And I'm going to start out my show by saying that this show is jam-packed. My callers that have come in today, we're going to be running for two whole hours. They've come in with some amazing content and information for all of us. We're going to be talking to Jerry, who worked with a lot of NFL players as a sportscaster. Brandon, who talks about how do you get a job? Is it who you know? And touches just a tiny bit on racial profiling, maybe, in the job force. Then Shanda is going to talk about how an illness drove her to poverty. That's something you're really going to want to stay and listen to. I'd call it my headliner. Right next, I'm going to talk a little bit about my caller, Ariel, who's really in a dilemma because her mom's paying for her to be in school. She really believes in this profession and career in the medical field. Mom has always said, I've always worked in the medical field. It always got me jobs. So daughter, I'm going to pay for you to do the same. And what's happening, though, is that Ariel's having a real problem because she started her own little business. And get this, this is shocking to me. She's turning away business because she can't keep up with her studies. She's turning away business so she can do a career that mom believes in, but she doesn't have her heart in. And obviously mom is paying for this. And this is just such a huge dilemma for her that this was a great life coaching call. But let's talk a little bit about those parents who dictate their children's careers. This isn't going to come as any surprise to any of you that there are those big five every parent wants the kids to go into. What do we think of first? A doctor, a lawyer. The others I found in my research were also an architect. I was surprised by this one, a pilot or a professor. Kind of see that one coming. Another one you see or hear quite a bit about are those parents who want the kids to follow in their footsteps, whatever career that is. And I think it's really critical, too, when the parents have started a business. But that is not to say that these kids are excited about doing what their parents did. And that's going to be Ariel's story coming up with one of my life coaching calls. Just as this young 25-year-old gentleman talked about on the internet where he says, in quotes, it's taken me years of hard work to regain and put myself back on track. He's really talking about how his parents sort of forced him into a degree in a field of study that he didn't want, and he mentions that it negatively affected his life. He went on to say that I had to quit the college and degree course and pursue my own desires midstream. Something to think about, parents, when you're trying to maybe guide your children, but maybe not be so forceful in telling them how they're supposed to live their lives. And I'm here to say that Ariel is not my first caller on this. I've had many callers say that this has been a challenge for them to maybe want to please the parents, but also wanting to go on their own career path. You know, maybe not surprisingly, but the one career path that kids or young adults seem to have so much trouble convincing their parents they want to pursue are the more artistic things. Being an artist or a musician or an actor, those are always the ones that come to me and say, but this is my passion in life. And truly, I think they're not They're not being unrealistic. They understand that some of those career choices may not net the stable income that the parents, I think, are looking for. But that is their passion, and it seems so heartbreaking sometimes to not let those young people pursue their dreams. I certainly understand those parents want children to leave the nest and have some element of financial security. And I also know that there are those, though, that do try to live through their children. Well, I didn't do it, and I didn't pursue this dream, and I didn't make it. Kind of like I think about those pageant girls sometimes, or those pageant moms, I should say, and those dance moms you see on reality TV. So I'm going to push you to do something I didn't get to do for myself. And the final pitfall that parents sometimes fall into is keeping up with the neighbors, with the friends and relatives. I want to be able to say that my son or daughter is a great success, my son or daughter the doctor, instead of pursuing something that really truly makes them happy. 
Now stay with me because this is one power-packed show. We've got so many great callers coming up, and I'm going to be talking some about public perceptions of poverty, where Shanda had an illness that drove her into poverty, and what you want to hear coming up is how people talked to her and treated her. It will blow your mind away. Stay with me here. This is Your Life Coach Joan Yurkovich on News Radio 1150 KSAL.